Stage is now set for November. Boston's race for mayor has its two final candidates, City Councilors Michelle Wu and Anissa Asabi George. It will be an historic election. Two women of color sharing the ballot for the first time in the city's history. Both candidates now will spend a month and a half competing for your vote. And as Christina Rex shows us, today was no exception. It may have taken until Wednesday morning to get the final results, but by then the remaining two candidates were already out in the city, continuing those campaigns that only have 48 days left. <laughs> the two remaining candidates for Boston mayor hug each other Wednesday morning at a meeting for their current jobs as city councilors. The field narrowed from five to two as the vote count finally came in overnight. We had a fun night last night. We were celebrating with supporters and friends and family in Roslindale and this morning right back at it. Michelle Wu was out for the morning commute. We did okay. We're moving on. <laughs> Tuesday's winner greeting Bostonians at the tea. Her competitor out on the street. They're hoping to get more people to vote in November after a disappointing turnout Tuesday. Then it was off to City Hall for a council meeting. We've worked together on this on the Boston City Council for for six years. She's been a, a wonderful colleague and I consider her a, a friend. Indeed, the race has been friendly between the sisters in service. Recently ousted Andrea Campbell was back at the city council meeting too. Outside the room, a picture of acting mayor Kim Janey, who did not get a seat in the top two for the permanent job. Uh, and will continue to love and lead my city uh, in whatever capacity I can, certainly uh, in my uh, remaining time as mayor and beyond. So why couldn't Mayor Janey pull through? A challenging six months filling in the role after Marty Walsh's departure could be to blame. Came into a situation uh, where all eyes were on her that both elevated her and trapped her into controversies that opened her up for criticism. So the general election isn't until November 2nd, but one thing is for certain. Regardless of the outcome, Boston will have its first elected mayor who's a woman and its first elected mayor of color. In Boston, Christina Rex, WBZ News.